So today I just hit 10,000 raised in Please Donate, which is pretty insane itself for even a goal to be even possible like this. So let me guess, I'm pretty sure most of you guys who clicked on this video don't know how to get Robux and or don't have 10,000 raised. Well guess what, you're in luck cause today I'm teaching you guys all the steps that I've used to get 10,000 Robux raised. And of course these methods are 100% triable, you guys can try them yourselves, trust me they work, I even use them. And the methods that I'm about to show you guys are 100% not a scam, I've seen them, I I've seen other YouTubers do them. I tried them like I said and they work, they work perfect perfectly fine. But anyways, enough talk, let's get straight into the video. So the first method I have on the list is don't beg. I'm pretty sure it's obvious to some people, but people still do it just because they want Robux. My advice for you, do not do it. There are two reasons for this specific thing. One, it's just a bad behavior, and two, you're not gonna get any Robux out of begging. Like, I know it's the whole point of the game, please donate, that you beg for Robux, like, please donate. But it's still just not a very good behavior, sort of that kind of thing, because it's kind of like a gesture. But it's a bad gesture, so-called. But every time I join, please donate, I just see millions of beggars crawling in my face. So please, if you're watching this video, and if you're begging, do not beg. Just stop begging. Because I'm telling you guys, begging does not work. Begging, begging does not get you any richer at all. So if you beg out there, please stop. I beg you. So my next step to getting 10,000 raised is to actually do commissions for people. I know I've probably said that in some kind of video, but people tend to do the same thing over and over again. Cause like I sell commissions for a very, a very fair, a fair price and everybody seems to love my commissions. And I just, and I, and they ask like, well, hey, where can I pay? And I said, oh, you can join me and please donate and donate me live. And look at that. I actually have do, I actually do have some experience. Like I have like a couple Couple years of experience and making profile pictures so if you guys want to order one make sure to dm me on discord and we can talk about it but other than that doing commissions for people if you have experience is a great way to make a ton of profit you can invest in your work and then make more money as you go like i've sold hundreds of commissions and look how much that made me over 10k of commissions the rest is just probably from donations but still commissions is a great way to get started because you can start legitimately 100% for free you just gotta have experience that's all it takes all you need is experience because if you don't have experience and you're probably gonna make profile pictures that are terrible I'm not saying you actually have to do profile pictures I'm just showing that as an example but if you do terrible GFX's then nobody's gonna want to buy them or even order them and they'll probably think it's trash so if you're getting started make sure you learn a lot because one day you might even use your experience to make money I'm not even joking you I see you have some experience experience though don't worry if you have terrible experience i promise i wish you luck in getting better but anyways let's move on to the next method so the next way to become rich is to actually become friends with rich people believe me when i say it i am friends with tons of rich people and i actually made a bit of profit of them and i actually made a bunch of profit just from getting donations from my friends but if you want to become friends with rich people then make sure not to use them because using friends just to get what you want is is not a very good gesture. So like for instance, you see a rich person on the server. You wanna become friends with that rich person so later you can use them for Robux. Do not do that. But my advice is to just, just, it's to just try to become friends with them and not just use them. Cause like if you become friends with them, like say, oh yes, I wanna be friends with you. And they like accept, oh sure, I wanna be also friends with you. And then they say after that, all right, can you donate me like 10K please? That is just mean. You should never use your friends to get what you actually want. If they feel like donating to you, then yeah, you'll get a donation. But just not 10k Robux, alright? Because like, I made a ton of friends just with voice chat. I recommend also getting voice chat if you want to become friends with people. Just so you know that they're actually like a normal person and not like a thief of some kind. I don't know, but just to chat, you need voice chat. And the way to, uh, to get voice chat is you actually need to uh, verify your passport and all of that stuff, like I did. But now I guess thanks to one of the tweets from the Roblox News Corporation, I'm guessing you can get it for free now? I don't think that works like that. I made a short on it, but I don't think 
That has nothing to do with that. I just read the news, alright? I don't know if it's true or not. But if you do have voice chat, then you can actually join voice chat servers only and uh, start to make a bunch of friends who have a bunch of raised or either donated. So yeah, it's just a good idea to become friends with rich people. Because rich people might want to uh, might want to donate you because you're either nice or you donate back to the community like I did. As you can see, 13000 458 donated. I've donated a lot to the community, so I tend to get donations more often. You guys probably see a bunch of donations on the shorts page that I uploaded. Yeah, those are all support donations. Because I've donated back to the community so much, so much, you, you don't even know. That every day I join Please Donate, I tend to get like 20 donations every single game. 20 small donations, can you, can you, can you, do you understand that? Like, in no world possible you can get 20 donations in one game, just because you've donated a lot. Let's move on to the next method, shall we? So method number four is to actually upgrade your stand. And what I mean by that is to actually get a booth skin, add a bunch of buttons, and add a really eye-catching text. Like, for example, this one here, BVOJ's text. I've donated over 10,000 Robux and I want to keep donating, but that's up to you. Any donations are appreciated. This is the text I actually use from BVOJ credits to him, and it actually works out pretty, pretty good. But I'd, what I'd recommend doing to you guys is to actually open up a store. And what I mean by that is you actually might have saw one of my previous videos that I opened up a couple of stores in Please Donate, and they actually work out pretty well. I've actually made a ton of profit from that also. So, I, so what I did for the Halloween update in Please Donate is I actually sold candy. I know everybody loves to do that because everybody loves candy on Halloween. It's pretty obvious. But what I did is I actually bought a booth from this store right here that actually fits with my candy shop. Uh, I think I have it around here somewhere. This one right here. This is this is this is actually one of my favorites ones from the Halloween update. It's really oozy. Candy candy cane, my favorite. I just add the buttons and then I add the text saying Selly can selling candy and a bunch of candy emojis as well. I'm pretty sure you guys saw one of my live streams as well uh, that I sell candy and all that stuff. And I made actually quite quite a bit of profit. So yeah, it's just a good idea to sell some kind of stuff. If you want to sell video games, go ahead and sell video games. But I'd actually recommend selling something that fits the Christmassy vibe, even though it's already past Christmas. But still, I'd recommend it. But if you don't want to do it, that's fine. You can actually sell something else. Like, for example, you can sell Teslas. Now, that would be a deal breaker right there. Or you could sell different kinds of shaped cookies. And how to actually do that is you basically add a picture of a cookie and the price whatever you want but I'd recommend you start from two all the way up to three mil you don't actually have to copy me but you, 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 it's, it's fine it's fine but also make sure to add a lot of buttons and make sure to also add the same exact buttons like a couple of times like like I added five to robux buttons the reason for this is if somebody wants to donate you the exact same price again without deleting it from their inventory then they can possibly do that. I mean, I've tried this method. Some people actually recommended it to me, and I did, and it actually worked out pretty, pretty well. So yeah, it's just a good idea to add copies of buttons. If people t wanna, wanna tend to donate you the exact same price once again. But anyways, let's move on to the, ne the next method. So my final method for this video is to actually find rich servers that will that are donating. And by rich, I mean really rich. And the way to actually find servers is to actually scroll through the server list until you find like a couple of people with either Valk, Headless, or Core Blocks. Like for example, I have Core Blocks, so I am indeed rich but I'm actually broke at the moment but yeah if you get lucky enough you might just be able to find a rich server that 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 the person is donating currently in and the way to actually there's actually another method you can actually there's actually another method by the way if you can actually go on the live donations board like for example you see a bunch of people donating 1k like this guy this guy this guy make sure to search for their usernames and then see if they actually have joins turned on if they if you if they don't then you're out of luck because most of the time 
famous people actually have joints turned off so that fans won't come and disturb them. But if you guys want to join me, I'll always have joints turned on, but I'll eventually turn them off at some point. I don't know when, but I'll always have joints turned on. So yeah, if you see somebody donate like a thousand Robux or even more, then make sure to f type in their username and see if they have joints turned on so that you can actually join that person in the please donate server. But if, but if they're online, that means that's actually an exploit. Cause like if we scroll down to the top donate, look at this. Annoy 2339, annoy was 509, annoy was 817. Yeah, those are actually so called exploiters who actually hacked the game, hacked the game's scripts, and actually made it so that it looks like a real donation that they got donated from. But yeah, you can't always trust people on the internet. Stay safe, kids. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope this video helped you, encourage you to get over 10,000 Robux raised on your stand. And if and if these methods also helped you out, make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure to join the Rainix Army. Memberships are coming soon once I become a partner on YouTube. Because this isn't the only content that I'll be making. I'll probably make even more epic content very, very soon. So you're just going to have to stay tuned for that. And in order to stay tuned for that, you got to click that red subscribe button. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys next video.